What's up guys, my name is Sydney and today we're going to be jumping into Planet Zoo and how to build a custom entrance rather than the game generated structure. So right now we are in a sandbox mode, just opened up a world to show you guys what is randomly generated when you load up uh, any sandbox or franchise mode. So. This is the template that they give you. It varies a little bit by you know style, but this is the general shape of the structure that they provide you. And you'll see that half of the structure is outside of the grid line that they give you in order to build. Now, that is where a lot of people get tripped up. They think, okay, here's the grid line and I can't build outside of that. That's not actually true. And you'll see that by when I select this front section that is within the grid, uh, we have the group box over here that lets us delete things. You actually have that ability on the back end of the building as well. So you can actually just go ahead and demolish this. Now what you're left with is the pathing system, the guest gates, as you can see here, and the guest spawners. So all of this you can pretty much remove. So if I were going to uh, click the park entrance gate. I can go ahead and get rid of that guy. I can get rid of this guy. I can go over here to the spawners, select the spawners, delete them. Same thing on the other side. And then all that's left to do is remove the path. So it doesn't matter what path tool you have selected. When you right click on your mouse, it will remove the pathing tile that you are above. Now, you'll see why I have avoided these last four blocks. So they are path. They are the asphalt dark path, and they do have the little curb edges on them, because you can see that I could, I could continue building this if it were inside the grid. But for some reason, you cannot delete these four sections. So that is the one downside that I have found to this trick, is that no matter what you do, can't select them uh, or build, um, those remain. However, you can do terrain paint. So if I were, going to, were to go into terrain and select the short grass and come in here and just paint all over this, that, that works outside of the grid, which is uh, curious, I guess, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but even here, you can't really notice those um, those four pieces of path. And if you were to build up more foliage uh, like these trees along here, there's never really a time where you would actually um, uh, view these other than you know if you were really looking for them. So the benefit to this, like we've done all of this, we've knocked it all out, um, we now need to rebuild uh, a custom interest. So, when you're playing career mode, there are often times where the entrance to the zoo is actually built in to the uh, environment. So say you build into a cave and people you know, walk out of that cave. They, they spawn from back in that cave and then they walk into your zoo. So you can actually do this uh, here in the game, uh, sandbox mode if you're building something new. Uh, as you can see, I just made this float and that's not exactly what I was going for. But for the sake of the video, we'll just do a rough look at what a, a cave uh, might be. And we'll chisel out uh, a little bit here. So you guys get the idea. If you were to go back into this cave area, then we will roughly flatten all of this because <laughs> Obviously, you guys would do a much better job of creating a beautiful and immersive cave here, but for the sake of the video. So now you've got this little cave, and you know you have a bit more immersion with you know the the entrance and the background. So now you want to generate your guests. Now, how do you do this? So you're going to go into your uh, facilities and you're going to go into staff facilities, pardon me, guest facilities, zoo entrance, and you'll have the guest spawner as well as the zoo entrance. So we are going to select guest spawner and go ahead and just sneak this guy in there, place him down. Obviously that messed up our uh, cave system here. And then we are going to go into paths 
and just draw out uh, a line and then place down, go back into facilities, guest services, zoo entrance, and we'll make sure this clips in a little nice there. And you can see that this path just leads right up into the zoo entrance. Now, one thing that I will mention is that you definitely need to make sure that these gates are facing the right way. So your guests need to walk towards and into the arrow. Otherwise, your guests won't be able to enter the zoo and that causes a problem. Uh, the other thing is that there is no maximum that I am aware of of um, spawners to gate ratio, but you do need at least one of each. Now the game gives you four uh, just so that it can generate more people in a shorter amount of time. So if you have a really large zoo, you wanna make sure that you're not just using one spawner as you're not gonna get the amount of people and traffic that you are looking for. So basically that's what you have to build in order to create your own custom zoo or a custom zoo entrance rather is literally just one spawner and one guest entrance. And the rest is completely up to you. You can build it however you'd like. It does function just fine. Uh, you can really place them anywhere. So it gives you a great amount of creativity and uh, customization to the entrance, which is a really big part of how um, this zoo works. You wanna be dazzled when you first walk into your zoo and you can't really do that if all you're doing is walking into some random generated building. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and let me know down in the comments if you guys know how to remove these and maybe I'm just missing something but other than that happy building guys and I'll see you in the next one.